Well, Matt, first of all, let's start with your uh, your new deal that was announced on, on Christmas Day and an extra Christmas present for the Knots fans and for yourself. Just uh, tell us about how excited you are about your future at Knots. Uh, yeah, really happy that it uh, got sorted. Um, it's been going on for quite a while, so it was nice to finally get it finally get it done and. Yeah, like I've said in previous interviews, I love it here. I love I love the way uh, we play football. Um, just day in day out, it's it's a nice place to come. And yeah, obviously I've come here at the start of my contract for for a reason of getting promoted, and it's still still the same objective. So yeah, I was more than happy to sign a new contract. Yeah, was it was it a, bit of a no brainer really? As soon as they offered you a new deal, you're thinking like, this is where I want to be. Well, like I said, like there was, it's been probably going. It was going on for a few months, and got to a stage where it was, yeah, like you said, it was a no-brainer for me to to commit to this to the to the club and and this season and getting promoted. And and yeah, I'm happy. It's happy. It's sorted. Yeah. How much did uh, Luke Williams have a part to play in that to, to convince you to stay? Uh, he sort of convinced me from the way he plays football. To be honest, like it's, he, we obviously sp- we have conversations and we speak about it, but. Like you can all see on the on the pitch, it's it's a it's an enjoyable environment that he's sort of created, and week in week out we're playing football that suits the way I play and gets the best out of me. So yeah, he he sort of showed me what he wants on on the pitch rather than having too many conversations. Yeah, I mean at the moment uh, top of the league over, over Christmas and New Year, uh, unbeaten run <laughs> continues. It feels like not on the crest of a wave at the moment. Not with Williams. Getting you to play the way that he wants, and at the moment, other league, two, uh, other national league sides can't cope with that. Yeah, um, I think from from pre season, from the get go, he's he's created a way of of playing, and everyone's on the same page. And I think we've got better week in, like week out. We've we're improving, and and we're getting to a stage where we're. Uh, well, I think we're at the stage where we're controlling games week in week out, and we're creating chances at left, right, and centre. So yeah, it's. It's really nice to play in. It's it's um, it's working working well so far. So long way it continue. Yeah, is it nice to see as well that the hard work that Luke Williams give, uh, gives you in training uh, sort of come, come out on the pitch on on the weekend? Sometimes you, you don't see that at other clubs, but it seems all the hard work that Luke Williams is putting in immediately gets transferred to the pitch on a Saturday. Yeah, it's it's obviously it's it is tough. Training is tough uh, week in week out. To be fair. Um, but it's it's like worth it, like you said, when you when you go on the pitch on a Saturday or a Tuesday, and you can see certain actions working, and I think like the second goal on on the Oldham game um, that comes straight off the training pitch. We work on that week in week out, and yeah, it's nice to, nice to see it working. And but it's it's not really a surprise to me or to any of the other players because of the amount of time we we work on it and how thorough the gaffer and the staff are. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Luke's leaving no stone or turn. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the, I mean, the high standards that the team have set themselves. Uh, it, it felt like a, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the team and a lot of the people around not kind of were disappointed with the two-all draw uh, on the road, which in, in other times of the season it would have been seen as a good result. But for yourselves, with the way that you played, a two-all draw away at Oldham felt a disappointing result. I suppose that just shows how, start, how high your standards are. Yeah, we were we were disappointed to be fair. Obviously, to go in front twice and then concede twice is is disappointing. I thought I thought we played a good game to be fair. Like we controlled pretty much pretty much the whole game. We just couldn't get that two goal um, advantage at any point, which was disappointing. But yeah, if we keep playing like that and and we do it game after game, I'm sure like we have been so far this season, I'm sure we'll be we'll be all good. Yeah, what's been key to keeping that consistency and those those standard type do you think? Uh, I just think day in day out working hard in training and uh, the gaffer and the staff they get their points across and we're, we're all on board with that which is which is good there's a great sort of team environment here the change rooms a uh, very good one so yeah we go on the pitch and we work hard for each other and and, and work hard for the staff and, and obviously the fans that turn up in their numbers so yeah it's, it's, it's a good place to be and, and um, yeah hopefully it can continue as winning games. Yeah, how much does that help having a, having a change room like full of different characters and full of uh, full of players who are like, all behind each other? Yeah, it's 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 a really good change room. It's one of the one of the best ones I've probably been in in my career so far. Um, and I think any workplace to come in and enjoy yourself day in day out is is key. And 
and I think the gaff has built that. Us as players have, have sort of helped in doing that, and I think it replicates onto the pitch. We're all we're all working hard for each other. If someone's not necessarily having a, the best of games, we'll we'll be there to dig them out, sort of thing. So. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a very good place to be, and and hopefully that can keep us winning games on a Saturday, on a Tuesday, and we can put another another set of wins together. Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, it's still a long way to go uh, at the moment, but with Wrexham on your tails, it feels like there's no room for error at, at the moment. Uh, only two points ahead of um, second place Wrexham. Do, do you enjoy that, that pressure of sort of having a team so close behind you? Does it sort of make it up your game even more? Yeah, I think it definitely makes you up your game. It's it's obviously a tough division this this season. I think the the top three teams are all very good teams and all would do very well in the league above. But yeah, it's it is tight. It's one of them where if we slip up, they'll probably capitalise. If they slip up, we've capitalised in the past. And and yeah, at the end of the day, we just got to concentrate on ourselves. We've got to we've got to keep winning. And and I think if we if we do the first half of the season the same in the second half, then I think we end up out on top. So, yeah, we just got to go in game by game and and uh, make sure that we we bounce back from Oldham and win on Saturday. Yeah, uh, older shot uh, next uh, at the weekend towards the, the bottom of the National League. As we know, what do you take from from the two Oldham games into that game on Saturday? Uh, I thought obviously here we played very well and. They sort of couldn't get near us. Obviously, it was going to be a very different game at their place, especially as we've played so close together. Um, I thought it was a bit of a hostile environment. They were maybe putting in a few challenges that were a bit questionable, but I thought we, we dealt with it well. Um, and I think Oldershot will be the same again. They're obviously down the bottom, like you said, and fighting for their life sort of thing. So, yeah, we've just got to put our own stamp on the game, take our game plan to them, and, and hopefully that's that's good enough. Yeah, expecting a, a similar battle, a more physical one, I suppose. Yeah, I think in this league, every game is a every game is a battle. But with the football we've played so far and what we'll continue to play, it hopefully allows us to not get too much into a physical battle with the other team. And it's more about what we do with the ball and and make sure that we we score goals at the right time and then sort of kill the game. Yeah, awesome. well, fingers crossed. Saturday, good to meet you, Matty, and uh, yeah, all the best for the weekend. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, Jake. Over to you, Ollie. Ah, uh, Matty, um, I, I know we spoke earlier in the season about you playing in a more advanced role. I think it was at Wheelstone when we saw that, when you scored your first goal of the season. Um, with that position change, has that sort of unlocked a different side of your game um, under the gaffer? Uh, I think, to be fair, the whole season, the gaffer, as soon as he came in, he wanted me to play uh, as the four, which he calls it the four, which is the deepest, or he wants me to play a bit further forward, which is the six. And he wants me to sort of interchange into both of them, which as a player I like because then I can not only come and get the ball deep, I can join in when the boys are going forward. So yeah, it's it's been like, it has probably, like I've had to adapt my game slightly maybe and, and it has pulled out like other things that I'm sort of doing rather than just playing deep, which is, which is nice. And then I wanted to ask about, obviously John Bostock arrived at the club um, at the end of last year. I just wanted to know, has he had a bit of an influence on you? He's obviously an experienced player, <coughs> played at top at top level um, throughout the entirety of his career. I just wondered if him, having him in training now is like pushing your game a little bit further as well and you're picking up things from him. Uh, yeah, I think you can always learn from, from every player you sort of play with. Everyone has sort of different qualities. Obviously, like you said, he's played at a good standard um, and you can tell he's very, very comfortable on the ball. Um, and I've been partnered with him the last game and then in training which which is nice you get to sort of know each other's game so that when you do go into into a match you know how the other person sort of works um but like I said yeah you pick up stuff from pick up stuff from uh, John's game you pick up stuff from everyone else's game to be fair and and I think that's the good thing about this team everyone's learning from everyone really and everyone's sort of trying to improve day in day out and it's pushing the team on And then just finally from me, um, um, older shot is the fourth, uh, the second game of four away games um, this month. I just wanted to know how important is your away form going to be because currently you sit top of the away form uh, table. So I just wanted to know how important is it going to be to maintain those levels and make sure that you know you stay at the top of the table this season. Yeah, I think it's going to be very important. Um, I think we, to be fair, we just go into each game, whether it's home or away, we go into it and play try and play our game, play the same. 
I think obviously when teams come to our ground, they sort of sit back a lot, which can make it more difficult. Um, and then they open up maybe a bit more when we go away and we have to capitalise. So, yeah, like like you said, there's four games this month away from home. So, yeah, it's going to be important. We need to take as many as many points as possible from all of them. Um, hopefully four wins, which is what we'll be aiming for. So, yeah, it's, it's important to, to keep it up and, and, and to improve our home form as well.